the family of the teenager connected to the BBC presenter scandal have spoken out further, following the BBC receiving a legal letter from their child. The stepfather of the young person, now 20 years old, claims he and his wife spoke out in order to get the star to stop sending cash to their child. He adds the family made contact with the BBC on May 19 and claims to have informed them of bank statements they claim reveal huge payments from the unnamed star to their child. The family of the young person claim their loved one is vulnerable at a child and the alleged money received from the star in exchange for sexually explicit images was spent on a spiraling crack habit. On Friday, July 7, the Sun reported an unidentified BBC presenter allegedly paid a teenager more than £35,000 for sexually explicit pictures. It was claimed an unnamed star at the national broadcaster has been accused of handing over cash sums in return for explicit images from the young person now 20, when they were 17 years old. In a statement shared on BBC News at 6 p.m. this evening via a lawyer, the young person denied the allegations presented to The Sun and told the BBC how they rubbished the claims to the newspaper prior to publication on Friday night. Following the legal letter, the mother of the child spoke to The Sun once again to stand by her original allegations and question how her offspring can afford to hire legal representation. In an additional report published a few hours later, the child's stepfather reiterates his wife's comments. He claims to the publication the family complained to the BBC just hours after the presenter allegedly tried to meet their child at a train station. The stepfather insists they contacted the public broadcaster to get the star to stop sending cash. Without the money, my partner's child would have no drugs, he added. He continued to claim BBC bosses have screenshots of contact between their child and the star. The Mirror has approached the BBC for comment. The stepfather claims the BBC are not telling the truth and claims he told the BBC he had gone to the police in desperation but they didn't do anything about it as they said it wasn't illegal. The BBC say they did contact the family in June but no one answered the call, the son claims. The lawyer for the young person states nothing unlawful and inappropriate took place. On Sunday, the BBC confirmed a male member of staff had been suspended following reports emerging on Friday, in which an unnamed BBC presenter was accused of paying for sexually explicit images from a teenager. This evening, the young person at the center of the scandal rubbished the claims via a lawyer. The legal letter now potentially throws some doubt on the initial story. Katie Razal, the BBC's culture and media editor, writes on the BBC website, We received this letter late this afternoon and it makes key claims that, if true, potentially throws some doubt on the story that was on the front pages throughout the weekend. It's a letter from a lawyer who says he represents the young person at the center of the allegations and he says the young person sent a denial to the Sun newspaper on Friday evening, before publication, by WhatsApp, to tell them the statement their mother made about them was totally wrong and there was no truth in it. Nonetheless the Sun newspaper proceeded to publish what the lawyer and the client called their inappropriate article. The letter from the lawyer also says, for the avoidance of doubt, nothing inappropriate or unlawful has taken place between our client and the BBC personality and the allegations reported in the Sun newspaper are rubbish. In response, the Sun told the BBC, we have reported a story about two very concerned parents who made a complaint to the BBC about the behavior of a presenter and the welfare of their child. Their complaint was not acted upon by the BBC. We have seen evidence that supports their concerns.
It's now for the BBC to properly investigate.